Hello Wild Women, it's me Mary and uh, this video is for um, the Women Who Run With The Wolves book club going out to all my Wild Woman sisters, especially Emma Basu. Emma is like my Facebook guru, love you Emma. And uh, last yesterday, Emma shared uh, a story time, adult story time, on our Women Who Run With The Wolves book club, and she was talking about the fool, the fool archetype. And um, I was really kind of inspired to share my response to that, because I'm the fool. I will play the fool. Yeah. And so um, a couple of quick stories that I wanted to share with you guys, because uh, I do, Emma... Emma kind of shared in her story time that she's not really a big fan of April Fool's Day and um, isn't really big into like playing pranks on people, um, but I am. I am known to, uh, from time to time to play a couple of pranks on people. And uh, so I wanted to share you, with you guys, a f this is the most amazing story. I was really excited. Uh, so I enlisted the help of my office mate to play a little prank on one of our co-workers and she in turn enlisted the help of her teenage daughter 14 year old teenage daughter and so on Sunday night um, we met at the office when no one else was there and we were plastering our co-workers office with post-it notes and as we were working on the little project, um, my uh, co-worker's teenage daughter was very gleefully said that she was so excited that this was her first uh, re act of rebellion, her first act of rebellion. And um, I was actually kind of surprised at that, that a 14-year-old girl uh, had not engaged in any acts of rebellion. And uh, I think... <laughs> After reflecting on that, I think the reason why I was so surprised by that is because I think my first memory that I can recall of uh, rebellious acts is probably, I was probably five or six years old. And if you ask my mother, she would probably tell you that it was much earlier than that. But that's what I can first remember, that really rebellious side of myself just bursting forward and um, I kind of had a fun realization that ever since I was a little girl, it has been my life's work to lead girls and women in acts of wild rebellion. And I'll tell you another little quick story. I can remember very vividly, I think I was in about fifth grade. I remember standing uh, at recess time. I was standing on the very top of a, of the slide on the school playground and I was belting out, you gotta fight for your right to party. And I kind of remember getting into a little bit of trouble over that and maybe a few of my friends also got in trouble. I think we had to skip the next recess and I'm not really sure what crime we were being charged with, it probably just inciting rebellion in girls. <laughs> and so uh, after uh, this past April Fool's Day, and I was actively engaged and participating in a young girl's first act of rebellion, and my heart is just so full, and I am so proud, and I am just bursting with excitement over that. And it just made me realize that my life's work is leading girls and women in wild acts of rebellion. Yes. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know if there's a way that I could, if I could make a living doing that, if I could find a way to get paid to lead women in acts acts of rebellion not anything bad not anything like not breaking the law not hurting anyone no um destruction of property just those simple fun little 
wild things that we can do, like playing little tricks on people um, and standing up on the top of a slide and yelling out, <laughs> you have to fight for your rights. Ow. I was like, what, 10? Fifth, fifth, fourth, fifth grade? So I was so excited and I'm so happy. So I'm going to share this video in the Women Who Run With The Wolves book club. And I also want to give a special shout out to my coworker uh, and her daughter. And I just wanted to let you all know that that was a lot of fun for me. And playing the fool, being a little bit wild, being a little bit rebellious, playing tricks, being a little mischievous, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong. I love doing that. I love uh, bucking the uh, social norms doing things that are a little bit wild, a little bit different, just just being a little crazy from time to time. You know, I'm that person. Uh, I Some of you may know if you're in the book club, uh, I am a churchgoer, uh, but I am the one who will show up at church wearing, uh, I'm a little bit hippie, like boho. So I'll show up wearing, you know, my most hippie attire. And uh, I got a little bit in trouble one time Many moons ago, um, I was the liturgist. So if you're not a churchy type person, the liturgist is not a pastor. It's a lay leader within the church who stands up during the service to read prayers or to read the uh, Bible passages for the day. And so I'm standing up front in the pulpit with the pastor. And um, I, my one of my favorite hymns uh, was being played. And I'm there. I'm rocking back and forth, just swaying. Like, you know, nothing really wild, rebellious. But you gotta know, I live um, I live in the Midwest. So it's almost like this super, uh, su super red Midwest. Um, and you don't, it's very strict, very straight, very conservative. And I'm up there like, you know, just, swaying and after church was over one of the gentlemen came up to me and he said you know you're not supposed to dance during the hymns <laughs> I just laughed I just laughed out loud because obviously that's ridiculous and you know what I said I was like well if the spirit is moving me then my body is moving okay so <laughs> It's great. I just show up as myself. It's fine. Oh, that gentleman still comes to church, so he, I don't think, was terribly offended by it. But I did have to laugh at his comment about my, about, I was just like swaying, you know, like back and forth, nothing wild, just swaying. It's like, you're not, you're not supposed to dance during the hymns. <laughs> so... Ah, I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So I do. Emma, I love you. And Emma's very, like her talk, I'd like the fool archetype was very like calm and cool and cl very elegant and classy as she always is. And I love you, Emma. Uh, but I had to give my perspective on playing the fool <laughs> on April Fool's Day. We're a little bit post April Fool's today. So <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, if you have a minute, I'm going to put a link in the comments over to my YouTube channel. If you want to check me out, I do YouTube videos sometimes, too. So thanks for watching and enjoy. Happy belated April Fools, everybody.